Thank you all for inviting me to join you at the celebration of the 2014 Hands-On Heroes and Champions of Youth, who are making such a positive difference in the lives of our little ones. I'm so sorry I couldn't be with you in person, but please know that I certainly am with you in spirit. This event is an important celebration of how far we've come to protect our community's children and to help them thrive. Our state recently celebrated the 15th anniversary of Proposition 10. This was a measure that created Verse 5 and thus guaranteed a revenue stream for our children. Since the year 2000, First 5 San Luis Obispo has invested more than $24 million in local programs to create effective and essential services that help San Luis Obispo County's youngest residents grow up to be healthy, nurtured, and ready for school. We can all take pride in such an important accomplishment. And here, as we reflect on April as National Child and Child Abuse Prevention Month, we also mark one year since the public unveiling of the Children's Bill of Rights for San Luis Obispo County. With a growing list of over 40 supporting agencies, this awareness campaign is bringing communities together through conversations and engagement in San Luis Obispo's quest to make sure our children remain our highest priority. Tonight, we once again recognize some true standouts in this vital cause. Individuals who work tirelessly to see that our youngest children and their families have the best possible foundation for a bright future. Hands-on heroes are committed to providing our children the tools and loving support they need to thrive in all areas of life, including education, physical health, and emotional health well-being. And it's my pleasure to announce this year's winner for Hands-On Heroes in the category of Children's Health. I'm honored to announce Brad Sanceri. He's Youth Services Division Manager for San Luis Obispo County Behavioral Health. And for Family Support, we honor Erica Rubalcava Heredia. She's School Readiness Counselor in the El Oceano Elementary School. And in Early Care and Education, which is center-based, Erin A. Staley is Assistant Teacher, Cal Poly's ASI Children's Centers, and she's being honored. And in the area of Early Care and, fam and Education, family-based, Maria de Jesus Mendoza, a family child care provider, is honored. And we have our volunteer, Yvonne Madalena, founder and volunteer Alpha Pregnancy and Parenting Support. To round it out, we have our two champions of youth who serve all youth, zero to 18. We're honoring Selena Marlarkey, Youth Council Committee member and student advocate, and Marie Hughes, coordinator of Transitional Age Youth Financial Assistance Program with the Family Care Network. Again, congratulations to all the 2014 winners and to all those who were nominated. I sincerely thank each of you for all you do each and every day on behalf of our most precious resource, our children.